What's going on guys? It's Ricky with TechBud Solutions. So just another recap on today's trading. I want to start this video off by congratulating one of our members, Lupe Castillo. Uh, he's one of our newer members and within one week he was able to show and see the growth of 20% within his account. So you know, usually on uh, 401ks or just long-term investments within a year you tend to see a three to eight percent return so for him to be able to bring a 20 percent return within you know just simply one week um, is amazing especially because he started out with one thousand dollars so just imagine if you know he had ten thousand dollars or a little bit more and seeing that you know growth with that percentage that percentage is really what I want you guys to focus on uh, but let's go ahead and get right into it so we're gonna start the morning off how we um, usually do and um, I did pretty much a, uh, an analysis on a couple different pre-market movers um, and I came down to the judgment of wanting to trade NUGT, CIE, and DRYS and I actually shouted that out to the team. They asked me, you know, what's the three to five stocks that I'm looking at um, as I usually announce them in the morning and they were NUGT, CIE, and DRYS and I'm going to pretty much uh, show you guys um, and talk about my whole thought process when jumping into these stocks. So let's start off with NUGT. NUGT re recently with the news of it uh, receiving the, the notice for a reverse stock split, um, obviously that's, that's not not the best news and the reason why it's because um, yes it increases the value of the stock you know the market price but it reduces the amount of shares so it's actually a way that a company can just you know in a sense manipulate the actual market price of the stock to make it actually sound more valuable than what it actually is um, and with that you know that's bad news it closed yesterday a little bit under or at about you know nine uh, nine twenty five uh, during after market hours um, ended up opening a little bit above you know 880 hit lows of the support at 873 and I'm going to talk to you guys about you know where it is that I jumped in and why so what I was waiting for was really that pop about nine dollars the reason why I was waiting for above nine dollars was because of the support that it built at nine dollars I knew that was going to be a strong you know resistance to break especially when it first balanced at 880 it hit highs of you know nearly like 895 and then came back down hit lows of about 873 and then that's when it pushed right through I got in at nine dollars and I shouted that out to the team and then I ended up selling because of just this concentration it hit highs of like 830 um, 935 and I ended up selling at 933 so I was able to lock in hundred ten dollars worth of profit within that simple trade uh, just from nine dollars to 933 but obviously there was a lot more room for profit but I didn't want to risk it and the reason why was yes I could have followed with a trailing stop loss um, and I you know probably should have done that so that's an area of improvement for myself uh, but I just saw too much risk because of this, you know, old resistance that it had right about here at 940, um, and I didn't want there to be a huge fluctuation in volume, and then you know it take a dip, and then my stop loss not getting filled when trying to lock in my profits. So it played out, hit a resistance at 980, and the reason why was because, like we've said before, old resistance uh, or old support levels, as you can see in this area, old support levels right at 980 become new resistance levels, and that's simply you know how we were able to identify you know what a good sell point is uh, based on determining and identifying you know the proper resistance uh, so we're gonna see how this one plays out it held very well um, and you know after market hours it's holding pretty well um, at that 960 area so we're gonna have to see with it uh, within these next couple of days on how NUGT plays out moving right into it um, CIE was another one that I traded I shouted this one out when it was at lows of um, 71 cents I ended up getting in at 703 um, it hit lows of 68 cents and this was actually when I was doing my um, I, I was doing my midterm today and they were due by 12 and I was trading and then I saw and I got the alert that it went below 70 cents so I was waiting for my order to get filled uh, through Robinhood because I had a stop loss set at 69.9 I ended up I guess not setting a stop loss and you know again just just working on my homework I kind of just forgot about it because I knew I got in at a good point and I was reducing and cutting my losses right below the support um, but then it ended up bouncing at 68 cents and it popped right back up and when I logged into my Robinhood account it still said I own CIE so I never set a stop loss order um, you know that could have been really bad because of the mistake that I made um, if a CIE continued to drop but it ended up bouncing at 68 cents and then uh, continued to rise and hit highs of about 73 cents. I ended up selling at 72 cents because of the resistance that I was able to identify. Yes, 73 cents, as you can see right here, that was the overall high that it hit. It didn't hit the 73 cents, you know, too often. It hit 72 cents quite often, and I knew that was a good sell point. So although that's not, you know, a huge amount of profit that I would have wanted to lock in, right? It's still a good amount of profit that, you know, uh, because of the recent news that CIE received that it was um, on track to get delisted, I didn't want to hold this one overnight. So I just, uh, you know, did what 
we, we suggest for you to do and just to lock in those profits. And by doing that, we're able to ensure, you know, I, I don't have to hold overnight and then risk, you know, it actually getting the news of it getting delisted. So they have a 30, uh, 30 day compliance agreement uh, with NASDAQ and effort uh, for them to resolve this issue, but they do have to get above $1. So I'm not too sure exactly what they're gonna do, if they're gonna do a reverse stock split. I just knew I didn't wanna hold CIU. So that's why I ended up selling. Um, my order got filled at 73, um, 72.3. Um, and locked in a little bit under $90, I believe like $89 on that trade. So again, not not the biggest trade, but um, I was able to get in at a good buy point and at a good sell point. What I would suggest is to always make sure your stop loss is set um, just to reduce risk um, or loss altogether. With DRYS, this one played out almost exactly how it is that um, we predicted. So during pre-market hours, it really came down to, you know, where is DRYS gonna pick up? Uh, I had a 52 week low, nearly at the point that we were buying in. So we knew we were getting at a good, po at a good point. DRYS is definitely one that's known to have, uh, you know, nice volume and good pops based on it has, you know, hit highs of like, you know, within the past uh, 10 days has hit highs of um, $5 and a couple cents. Um, so understanding that as um, once it broke the support is, you know, where is, where is it gonna bounce? And based on old, you know, support levels, we were trying to see where that initial bounce was going to be. And as you see, based on the history right here from a couple days ago after market hours, it bounced at right about that, you know, 188, 180, 182 cent uh, point. So we knew that was going to, again, just looking at old support levels, understand where it was going to be bouncing. So we waited for the bounce at 182. I waited for the EMA line. Um, through my TD Ameritrade app to actually identify that it was showing signs of upward momentum. And once it did, I jumped right in at 183 um, and then we popped right through 190. When it popped right above 190, I set a stop loss at 190 and then it hit highs of 198. I ended up stop lossing out because when it went above 195, I put my stop loss there, hit highs of 198, came back down, I got filled and then I locked in my profit. So overall with this trade, I was able to lock in $196 with this specific trade on DRYS. And a lot of traders within our group were actually able to jump into it because they saw the same you know, support and resistance level and we were able to identify you know, a whole game plan, where we were buying, where we were selling, and where we were gonna cut our losses. I had a stop loss set and it pretty much held pretty well um, at this resistance. But again, like we know, if it holds very well and then it can't break that resistance, you know, they're just gonna give up and it's most likely gonna start dropping down because they're gonna just start selling them. So the volume increase and then just drop down played around the support again so again not a bad buy point and then bounce at the low points of 180 and hit highs of 190 so 10 percent profit not 10 percent 10 cent profit so a little bit under uh 10 percent on that if you would have jumped in at that point but again it's the whole point of trading is being able to identify good support levels good resistance levels and then identify you know what are good buy points sell points where do i want to cut my losses but all of a sudden it takes a dip and using these different indicators that we use like ema volume um, in effort to get a better understanding on how the specific stock is doing so that is how it played out today um, i did exceed my goal of being able to lock in uh, the over the 250 dollars worth of profit again you know luckily and things like that i ended up doing pretty well with cie i could have seen you know a drastic loss because of that listing um delisting notice it got um so it could have you know taken a huge step and then i you know, didn't have a stop loss. So always make sure that you have the proper game plan and proper tools and, and indicators set up uh, to get the best understanding on what it is that you're trading. So if you guys haven't done so already, feel free to join our Facebook group. Um, and it's a group that you can join. We're sitting a little bit over 3,700 members worldwide uh, with all the different platforms that we have available. And if you would like to be a part of this group chat platform that we utilize uh, to get a better understanding on what it is that we're trading and to share best practices, it's a very welcoming group and you could actually simply just click on this link and ask to join. If you guys have any questions whatsoever, please be sure to leave it down in the comments, which is you know the most or the best way to reach out to me if you guys have any questions or if any if you, any of you have any suggestions on videos you guys would like me to make, please just let me know. I'd be happy to make them for you. I hope you guys have an amazing day and please make sure if you guys can give this video a thumbs up to give me a better understanding that you guys enjoy this video and if you guys could subscribe, of course, you know we'd appreciate that as well. Hope you guys have an amazing week and let's make sure that we end the week on a green note. Take care, guys. Baby, don't you let it go to me.